welcome back everybody uh, once again to some serious Firmacraft with Dankenstein and it's been a little while but I thought I'd log on today and just uh, make a little episode I felt I felt inspired and I have the time and uh, the inclination and I just thought today's episode could just be pretty chill just remind ourselves where we are and just get back into the flow of things have a bit of a catch up as well um, and yeah, and just kind of get this series sort of back on track. I've received a few comments recently asking me where the series has gone. Fair questions. What do you think, little Drake? What happened? It's amazing. I just like, I just, I looked on, he just quacks and it like echoes through these stone corridors. It's, it's really funny. Go on, quack. Go on, mate, quack. Do it. Maybe in a minute. There you go. <laughs> Did you hear that amount of echo on that? Awesome. Right, anyway. Um, so where have I been and where has the series gone and what's been going on? There's a few a few things have happened. I mean, firstly, um, real life, you know, sometimes ebbs and flows and it started to, uh, started to flow. There was a lot of different things going on. Um, I was away for a bit, traveling, and then just work. My day job got very busy for a while. It's kind of settling down a bit now again. Um, and I got obsessed, I don't know if you noticed, with game development and learning to make games. And I'm still very much obsessed with that. I've had some really uh, exciting stuff happen recently. I entered a, a game jam in the middle of April. So yes. Yeah, it was. It's the middle of April called Fat After Easter. And I haven't actually publicized this game yet, but there will be a trailer and a proper release for it later this week. Probably tomorrow, actually. Um, but I just submitted it to the jam, and I ended up coming first place in that jam. It was a small one. There was only seven uh, games submitted. So shout outs to everyone else who joined in. Fat after Easter. The theme was chocolate after life. It's a quite a strange theme, but I mean, you can see now what, what the game looked like, and um, yeah, and the scores I got for it. I, I came first in every category, so um, that was kind of very surprising and um, and fun um, so go play those games you can just you can check out my itch page and you can play all the games I've made there and then this weekend just gone we did um, Ludum Dare or Ludum Dare or whatever, however you want to say it um, so shout outs to Listless Onion and the rest of the team we collaborated with on that and I think we made a really good game we did we did the jam not the comp well if, as a team you have to do the jam that was 72 hours to make a game and the theme was delivery and yeah I think we made a cool game so you go and check that out the I'll put the link to that maybe in the description or the comments or something as well um, and you can play those games I think the the Luden Dare one if you've got an account with them you can even log in and rate our game so um, that would be appreciated and I think making an account doesn't take very long so go give our game some ratings um, and let us know what your high score is uh, for easy uh, for the easy map on normal speed, so not with hyper switched off, just normal speed, easy map. I uh, scored like forty thousand points yeah, last night. It was my it, like I think my PB before that was thirty two thousand, up that to forty thousand last night. So if you can beat that, then well done. Um, so yeah, so that that's kind of an ongoing obsession, and I am going to continue to make games um, alongside kind of making content for the channel. But I do want to get. Um, the basics back up and running with the with the channel here. So, serious Firmacraft series definitely want to continue where we left off because we're in a really fun spot here. We just made our first steel, didn't we? So we've got some steel ingots here, a few pig iron there, but I think also this is full of pig iron down here too. So that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, we just we need to go out and do some mining really. So yeah, we'll get this series back up and running and um, get some more live streams going of games like Zomboid again and whatnot else. Um, you know, back to basics. Um, but we'll continue to also promote the games we release. The actual devlog videos, unless people really want them, comment below if you really, really want them. I probably will stop because they weren't performing so well. And I think this channel really, what you guys want, correct me if I'm wrong, is the gaming. The gaming itself. So we're going to try and keep the focus on that here and maybe use the, the Twitch channel that I'd started to experiment with streaming on Twitch to stream my game development process. And um, then we might make, you know, like 
uh, trailers for the games to put on this channel, but really the devlogs probably will be replaced by me streaming my development on Twitch. So if you're interested in that, go to my Twitch, follow me there. Um, and yeah, and like I say, the NIST channel can get back to what it does best, which is grinding out large amounts of metal in Terra Firma Craft. Isn't that right, Drake? Yes, it is. So let's remind ourselves, like, we could do a batch of steel, because we... Oh, that'd be morning then. Because we have all of this cast iron. There's a lot of cast iron. I don't think we have any other metals that haven't been processed. So that's some lignite, that's some charcoal. So running low on charcoal. That's worth noting. But yeah, look, I mean, a few half filled molds here and some tiny little scraps of metal but basically no no metal that hasn't been processed so there it all is that's all our metal and i think none of these other yeah i don't think any of the rest of those are in use i think at the moment it's just these bottom six we have a few bits in nothing in that crucible nothing in there yeah so there's just there's 13 ingots of pig iron though, that's quite a decent amount, but we won't be able to pour that until this guy's hot again. So, yeah, a batch of steel will be needed to empty that, okay? Um, and we did finish this corridor on the live stream before, so we now have like a tools room. Pretty nice. This room is nothing yet. That room's nothing yet, and that room's nothing yet kitchen which we pretty much moved into oh yeah we've got some onion and grain in there lots of halite which is the salt i think right and all that empty vessels there there's another green vessel here i wonder if that's got anything in it no okay we've got those jars okay and then this is our cellar found the cellar of 80 blocks it is a cellar and it is 80 blocks excellent but we haven't put any shelves in, so that's a project. Um, this room just has wood in it. Okay, makes sense. Nothing in there. And then these are the original storage rooms we made, which this one was just for stone. So we've got, okay, so we kind of got stone and wood. I get it. And then here was like, oh yeah, we accidentally set this room on fire, didn't we? <laughs> I think in the live stream. <laughs> Seem to recall. Got a couple of spare sconces there and lots of spare candles. That's actually really interesting. I think I made those, but we didn't get around to hanging them yet. So we could do a bit of that. Yeah, it's just sort of odds and ends in here. So like, yeah, general storage, I suppose. Okay, and then obviously we've got the main, the main room, which is still looking as awesome as I remember it. Shout outs to the main room. And then down here, so clearly it is deepest winter still. Right, December the 81st. <laughs> if that confuses you, it's because we are playing on a on a server here. So I think the months all got extended so that, you know, if you log off for a day and come back, it hasn't sort of changed too much. Um, and if you want to play on this server, it's open to anyone who supports on Patreon. So you can always look at that in the... In the description as well so we've got this oven so moving the oven upstairs is a thing that needs doing now let me see i think there might be some more charcoal in here shame there isn't i thought there was okay well we'll pop that there we should definitely put a batch of charcoal on today and then yeah we took the top off of that i think we emptied all these chests didn't we did we completely move out of the hobbit hole so we just got to remind ourselves where we are with the season do you know what i mean like where how much progress we made in various directions that's water oh okay look there's a, a soaked hide here scrape 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 <laughs> lol okay let's put the knife back and now it's scraped. You put it in water next. Prepare tide. Perfect. Um, okay, so some scraps of wood and bamboo in here. Some naturey stuff. A load of mud for making more rooms in the in the base. Cool, and some bits and bobs. Okay, so we kind of left the farming and animal stuff here, didn't we? Really, and moved. Everything else, bit of a yeast starter there. 
Oh, that's right. We were working on the bees, weren't we? Oh, but all the snow has killed all our flowers. But has it killed the flowers, though? Has it really killed the flowers? Or is the snow just sitting on top of the flowers? At any rate, there are no, no queens. Okay, never mind. Familiarity for some of these is zero. So it looks like we've had some babies grow up. Unfortunately, yeah, the cows keep just having bulls. So we've only still only got one or maybe two that we can milk, I think. That's a, okay, that's a cow. Becomes an adult in two days. Nice. Okay, yes, yeah, so we have some familiarizing of animals to do. Yeah, and we were trying to work out, weren't we, to how to make cheese. And we were getting rather confused, I believe. We do have whiskey. So we have vinegar, we do have milk, we do have curdled milk, but something was confusing us there, so that's a project. Um, so I think that's an, a summary of everything in and around the base and what's going on. Um, I suppose the other thing that's always on my mind is this that train station down here that was built for us. Doesn't look like there's a train at the station right now. I would like to make myself a train. Um, so that we have one, you know? And, oh, the train is here. Was I given this? Did somebody gift me this train? I can't remember now. Um, the train is here, though. So, <laughs> okay, never mind. Well, that's cool. But I would like to build this station into a station, you know, with like a proper cover, ticket office. Just like a train, a real train station. A real life, real train station now is this rye finished yes it has this is good in the middle of winter we we need these things so let's just harvest and probably replant although probably it won't work at this time of year but let's see how hardy the rye can be okay so what is the list then should we I think what we should do let's keep this series a little bit more organized Let's make ourselves a project board in the world somewhere. And I think that'll be fun, it'll be motivational. And we'll keep, um, and you know, and then you guys can make submissions, make requests for things to add to said project board. Oh, I thought there was loads of signs in here. There's one sign. Give me a sign. We'll have to get a load of wood then. Uh, there's some back there. Oh, yeah, I wanted to do that as well. Okay. Okay, so I think it's wood chopping. Wood chopping is, is the first port call here. Wood chopping and filling up a pit kiln or a charcoal kiln, rather. And, um, and making a load of signs and making a project board. So let's, let's uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so yeah, we're going to need still, well, at least 15 stacks. Like, 15 stacks would cover it. So 15 stacks of wood. There's, there is some in the base as well, but I think we'll just go out and chop it fresh. Seems more sensible to me. Can we just sleep the night away quickly? No, there's no sleeping, even if I'm the only one on the server. I had to remind myself of that, but there is no sleeping. Okay. Well, let's go chop some wood then. All right, as the sun rises here then, um, there it is. I have chopped down all the trees outside the front of our pad. And in fact, I'm full. Was it control B? Was I doing it Edit my box. Press tab. Press tab to navigate to next element. Uh, uh, what? No, that's fine, thank you. I thought it was control B. Was it control E? Crafting. Use mouse cursor or tab button <laughs> to select a mod update. Use mouse cursor or tab Bro. button. Op options. Yeah, options, yeah. Use mouse cursor. Accessibility, accessibility settings. settings. Use mouse cursor or tab button to select element. Accessibility. Narrator, narrates narrator, all. Narrate, narrator, off. off. Yeah, off. Thank you. Thanks so much. Just off is fine. I thought I had a backpack that I could... Yeah, there it is. And I said it. I thought it was Control-E. Maybe Shift-E. 
I thought I had it set to control E to open the backpack. Is it just B? It's just B on its own. Okay, I couldn't remember. <laughs> that was a fun adventure. Wow, the narrator, she really shouts. <laughs> That's quite, quite aggressive. <laughs> Another little quick channel-y, update -y thing was about Thursday Music Club. Um, for now, I think we're going to put that a little bit on hold. I've actually started working on an EP, like on an actual serious release. Well, serious, I mean, you know what I mean. Like, rather than doing different songs for two hours every Thursday, I'm taking some of those ideas from the last few years' worth of Thursday Clubs and kind of fleshing them out into real songs and writing some lyrics and you know recording some proper vocals and producing them like real real nice so it's going to be a good few months before that's ready but yeah thursday club is going to be on break while my musical energy is going there um so on the one hand a little break from thursday but on on the other hand oh i've t come totally the wrong way we wanted to put this in the, in the ground um yeah on the other hand though at least uh we will get a uh, hopefully a really good <laughs> release out of it something that um yeah because the last time i really put proper effort into releasing music that was like okay this is finished this is as good as i can make it and it's finished let's go um was like before i properly started youtube really i think from memory it would have been like 17 maybe nice yeah the whole thing is yeah yeah cool okay that's worked sometimes there's a glitch i've noticed like in this sort of um edition of tfc where sometimes just the first block is the only one to go but um no they've, they've all gone that's good so that's happening all right so let's put the wood away then shall we what have we got in there hickory there okay so let's put the stick bundles there and those are chestnut maple and oak okay sweet okay so all the hickory can just can just go over here then okay lovely um sticks i think we have like a, a wooden yeah here we go right we've got some oak signs okay well this is probably four signs is probably enough for us to have a nice to-do list on the wall i would say i would expect let's take these candles and these sconces as well and try and put them up where we imagined them i recall with these it's like you can make the four when once you put four then it becomes as bright as like a torch or a sconce is and we can just pick them all back up again nice and can we hang them from the ceiling do we have like chains i'd like some chain minecraft chain is not a thing but tfc has plenty of chains six okay so you just work an ingot into 16 chains Okay, well, we've got to pick a colour, I guess. Probably not black steel. <laughs> black steel would be nice. But I suppose the question is, is, is it going to attach itself to... Can I put it on the ceiling? Oh, I see. So that would seem to imply... Yeah, that we will be able to um, do some nice stuff with these. I wanted to hang them from the ceiling in the main hallway. Up here, just to light the middle of it a bit. I mean, they're going to have to hang real low to actually height, to actually light the floor in here. So, But yeah, it could be fun to try and work that out with some chains and stuff. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe hanging them off the ceilings down here in this corridor is better. Because actually, firstly, the main hall is huge. And I kind of like that it's a bit moody. It's lit by the lava around the edges. The moody middle is kind of fine. Because they're not like stone blocks. So mobs can't spawn in here anyway, right? So... Yeah, okay, maybe maybe we won't do it there, but we still want some chains to mess about with down here, but I think that echoing quack is absolutely legendary. <laughs> Let's make our to-do list, and then we can talk about it. I've had a little think, then, about the list of, of tasks that are, like, you know, most pressing. Um, and I think we'll put our lists up here. Somewhere between the main room and, and the corridors. Yeah, here looks good. So let's start with uh, a to-do list. How do you want to do this? Yeah, let's do it like this. Okay, so I definitely want to make a steel anvil. And these are roughly in order of 
priority. Steel anvil, bedroom, and set up the cellar down here, right? And then to continue that, in fact, let's, let's do it in this structure. Let's put more of the to-do list up here. So we've got cheese, we've got bees, and honey. Definitely want to set that up. The honey is useful in so many things, I believe. Um, and then we've got a couple of builds, right, that we want to do. We want to build the train station, make that look pretty. And I also want to have a go with the various music emods in this pack and make a proper music studio. So, that's our to-do list. Decent. Now, there is one other thing that goes with this. Um, we'll put it on the other side. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that little access hole. That's jokes. Um, ores. What is it that we're looking to actually mine here? Now, I've definitely got a few tin, silk. In fact, so instead of ores, let's be more vague. Let's be more general. Say, mining hit list: tin, silver, nickel. I think, I think that's it. If we look down here, tons of copper, tons of that's phalarite. Yeah, zinc. Tons of bismuth. I mean, I say tons like enough, enough for now, right? To get us to like just getting getting through the progression. But no tin. Over here, we have space for the two other types of bronze. We only have bismuth bronze. So yeah, the tin would give us normal bronze, and then well, we'll get to we'll get to black bronze. Okay, then we've got brass. So we've got a bit of brass. That's nice. Silver. No silver. We do have some gold. But we have no silver. Once we get the silver, then we could make the black bronze as well. Um, then there's sterling silver and rose gold. So actually. I started all the iron stuff a bit too early on, so I guess we've got to move this. Can I just break the block? I think you can, can't you? Oh, I'm a bit scared to do it with the pickaxe. There we go. I think if I'd have done that with my hands, I could have lost them all, actually. Now, what was this again? Is that the pig iron? Yes. Okay, we'll grab both of those two. I think pig iron would go there. Um, so after the silver and gold we'd have sterling silver rose gold to so iron, iron would go here it is just really satisfying picking up ingots and replacing them though so it's always fun to share that satisfaction and then this is all cast iron so I don't know if the cast iron should have a spot over here or not it's kind of unprocessed metal really the steel should go there and then red and blue but I mean even pig iron doesn't really belong up here. You know, I think it's still, because we can't like make anything with it. So I still think, I actually think steel goes here. Black, red, blue, and that would finish the full range of vanilla. Wait, hold on, but where's nickel? <gasps> we need something for nickel too. Okay, so this, okay, it's not quite fit for purpose then. We need, maybe we, what we need is another table in the middle actually. That would be six, and you walk around like this, but there's just like another block of things here. And maybe that's where all of the steel could go. Okay, well, anyway. What kind of this smooth marble? Let's see if we've got any smooth marble, actually. Because I think we probably do in one of these boxes. All the smooth chalk there. There we go. 16 is almost certainly going to be more than enough, what I have in mind. So I'm just thinking, like, you know, maybe we do want places to pile up things like pig iron and cast iron and, and whatnot. So if we left a two wide, it would be there. Yeah, like that. Let's have another table in the middle. And put all our steel and things on there. Yeah, okay, sick. So we don't have to worry too much then. There's plenty of space. Um, but I guess we can put our pig iron there. And then pile up all the cast iron over here. Makes sense to, I guess, pile up the stuff that like we need to process. And that is like in play on this middle table. And have all the f kind of finished metals over there. I think that makes sense. The animal sound effects are so funny. 
the way they just echo around. It's very good. Okay. Mwah. All right, and then and then there was something else that I'm very aware of. Yeah, we don't have any there. Question. There is like a valuables chest over here. Oh yeah, look, here's the musical instruments I was talking about. All of that kind of stuff. We want to learn how to use this mod, and then we want to like make some real music in, in this pack. It'd be fun. So we've got all these rubies. Look, we've got tiny bits of redstone. I want more redstone. We've got a nice bit of lapis. I want more redstone. We'll need that if we're going to make a music studio, I'm fairly certain. So I would love to find a redstone deposit. That would be juicy. So let's add that to our mining hit list as well. Redstone. Okay, so we've got, we can keep track of different different things now, which is nice. We've got that all there. Um, yeah, let's maybe just think about a chain or two. Let's use some iron. I think the iron chains will look the nicest and, f and match our sconces as well for hanging candles from. Um, so yeah, so I guess we just got to heat these, heat these little guys up. There we go. Um, we're going to definitely keep uh, montages coming though. Um, so yeah, I think to finish the episode, we will just montage our way through making some chains. Um, a simple, a simple but you know important um, part of the uh, dwarf. What words was I going to make up? Dwarfinization of uh, of this little base of ours here. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's do that. All right, sweet. That didn't take long, <laughs> but at least we've got some nice music to play in the background. <laughs> um, yeah, cool, cool. So, question. Will we be able to place these off the ceiling, do you think? Yes. And then... Oh my god, it's perfect. I don't actually even want them that low down. That's okay. It's cool that we can jump through them though, but I think we should have them higher up. So get rid of that. Get rid of that guy. That's fantastic. That looks amazing. Now the question is, does it light up the place enough? Um, is that where we actually want it? Because we've got sconces here. I might start by putting them down this corridor. Yeah, there's one before that. There we go. Now let's turn around and look down the corridor. Oh, baby. Oh, my God, that looks good. And then one, two, three, four, and it's there. Okay, yeah, so let's put another one at the other end in that same spot. And then they're just like every four, apart from right in the middle where there's just three, but that's fine. Yeah, here. Yeah, it works. I mean, it doesn't just work, actually. It looks amazing, and it's so good. We're, like, completely, I think, completely torchless down here now. Oh, and that used up exactly all the candles that we made. And this is one of the reasons we want the bees and the honey, right? It's for the candles. But, yeah, that really does complete the look down here. And this room's fine. It's well lit. And these corridors are well lit, because we did the same on the other side, too. And all these rooms internally all have a sconce as well. So these two that we've got spare, for now, can actually finish lighting this entire base. Ass assuming we're, de we're deciding we're happy with this. Maybe we could put loads of, loads of hanging... Um, I went slightly overboard on the uh, chains there, didn't I? We have like, loads of hanging candles in here, but I think the lava just does it. So as we're down here, like, it's just this corridor. 
right? Has sconces there and there. So, kind of thinking just like that and that. I think that's perfect. All right, well, lighting. If that was on our to-do list, tick. It's not anymore. <laughs> um, I didn't put it on there because I knew I was going to do it right now. Um, but yeah, so look, that'll do it for today. I, I like. We're gonna um, we're gonna try to be more, you know, more consistent with these episodes. So I do appreciate everyone's patience massively. Yeah, thanks for watching. Comment in the, in, you know, below if there's any other things you want to see added to this to-do list. What would you like to see of this series? Where would you like to see it going? Um, let's get let's get inspired here. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. If you're new, like, subscribe, share. Bada bing, bada boom. And uh, yeah, peace out. I'll see you soon. Safe.